I want to touch on something called biological transmutation. And this is the idea that elements are not stagnant in the periodic table, i.e. silica, which is in horsetail, possibly has the ability to turn into something else, aka calcium. This idea was first discovered and bought around in the 1700s, and it wasn't until 1827 or so that the first study was published with seeds. This idea of transmuting of elements and that old ideas of alchemy are actually not so far off, that biology has been doing this forever. Now we like to think of this idea of the chicken and the egg, right? Where we have this chicken that eats high silica grasses and produces this high calcium egg. How does it do that? I think this is how horsetail works in the body. We consume this high silica food here and we start to produce better, stronger calcium-based tissues. Wow, what is this? So, as I was going back to um, through the literature and I was looking at biological transmutation, I see that there have been studies done on this for years. The main basic study goes with taking a seed and putting it in water. We see that in the seed, phosphorus turned into sulfur, magnesium turned into calcium, and calcium turned into phosphorus. These elements were exchanged and changed. This has been repeated many different times. I believe that our bodies are way more unique and this whole idea of the elemental table might not be quite the same as the static system. So I think that we actually produce calcium and the calcium is almost like that offset of this excessive um, leftover material. Starting with things like silica, we can produce better bone density. Now, whether you believe me or not, this is something that has been studied many different times and I think needs to be brought to light because we are this alchemist internally and these things are shifting within us. So I'd like to propose that if you're gonna try and have better bone density and better strength of your connective tissue, don't be taking calcium supplements. Work with things like the silica and the magnesium that can then transform into better structural materials. So a little bit of food for thought, and in this case, horse tail for thought. This concept of biological transmutation revolutionizes the whole way we think about the body and the way in which it works. There is nothing static, it's all about flow. This is an amazing concept and it's been studied for hundreds of years. Even though this still remains outside of our modern understanding in science, it's something that's really worth looking at. So have a look at biological transmutation and find out for yourself where the truth lies. For more in-depth information on the concept of biological transmutation, check out the work of French scientist C. Louis Kervrin. French chemist Louis-Nicolas Vacquelin originally discovered the differences in the elements found in chicken feed and egg composition in 1799. German pharmacist von Herzl originally published the seed experiment in 1876, which has since been repeated many times by unrelated scientists. Although mainstream science continues to deny it, the work of hundreds of great scientists and thinkers over the last three centuries has given rise to overwhelming evidence that supports biological transmutation and the ability for elements to change inside of living systems.